Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, I've finally got another clear night and I'm going to be shooting another target that I've never done before. So I'm going to be doing the Cocoon Nebula tonight, which could be a bit of a challenge because it's made up of a few different types of nebula, which I think means I need both of my filters to get a photo. But that's going to add a bit of challenge with the processing because we have to try and combine the two filters together, which I've never tried before, but I think I know a way of doing it and actually capturing the data could be a bit of a challenge as well uh, since I'm going to have to switch the filters out halfway through the night and take two sets of flats for the both different filters and then refocus um, with the different filter halfway through the night as well. So it could be a bit of a challenge but hopefully it's going to turn out as a really nice photo because this is a really like, cool looking target. So yeah, I'm going to go set up the scope and I'll update you in a bit once I've done that. Alright, I've got the scope set up, so this is what I'm using. I've got an ASI 183MC Pro camera on the back. There's a LX stream in that filter drill there, but that will change later when I put the L Pro in there. And then I've got a Redcap 51 and a 120 uh, mini guide camera with a 30mm guide scope. And then there's a mini PC to control everything and a Star Adventure GTI to like track the sky and salute to my targets and everything. Um, so I think it's getting, yeah, it's dark enough to start polar aligning now. I can see Polaris right there. So I'll polar align and then, uh, I should be able to get focused almost straight away after doing that and get the camera cooling and everything. And then it hopefully won't be too long until I can get shooting. I'll take flats and dark flats first. And then hopefully by then the sun will have gone down enough to start shooting. If not, I'll just have to wait. But yeah, I'll tell you what I'm doing in a minute once I've polar aligned. All right, I've polar aligned and I've slewed over to Vega and put the baton off mask on. And as you can see, I'm now perfectly in focus because that middle spike is dead center between the other two. So I'm gonna go take flats and dark flats. All right, it's now dark and start shooting. You can see all the stars now, and the sun's practically all the way down. So I've got the first sub shooting, and the guide is going, which is working well. So my plan for tonight is to get just over two hours on the L Extreme, and then I'll switch over to the L Pro filter, uh, and hopefully get just over three hours of exposure with that and then if it's still clear and there's like no sign of sunlight yet i'll try and get as much as i can with the l pro so yeah i'll show you this first sub when it comes up in about 20 seconds okay here comes the first sub that is looking way better than i expected it to is yeah you can see the dark nebula in there i wasn't expecting that there's a lot of stars there's a cocoon that looks pretty nice it's quite bright uh or relatively bright anyway it's like magnitude 7 i think like 7.2 i mean yeah that's looking way better than expected it to. So I'm gonna set off the sequence. So I'll just come in here and press play. And that's now going. So I'll probably talk to you next, hopefully when I'm switching to the L Pro. If it's before then, it will probably be because of clouds. But at the moment it's looking really nice. So I'm hoping that's not gonna be an issue. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. 
Okay, it's about 20 past one and I've just finished collecting all of the L Extreme data. Uh, I've had a lot of clouds have turned up, but I think that most of the L Extreme data was unaffected by that. And it looks like they're gonna move away because there's not like loads of them in the distance. It's sort of just like one group of clouds coming over and they're moving pretty quick, so they should be gone soon. So yeah, I've put the L Pro in the filter drawer and I've taken flats. I'm just getting the dark flats now. Um, and once that's done, I'll see if these clouds have cleared enough to slew back over to the target. Um, and if they have, I'll do that and start shooting. And hopefully I'll have a five minute sub to show you in a minute. So yeah, talking a bit. Okay, here comes the first exposure with the L Pro. I think that there's a couple clouds that were in this sub, but for the most part, it was clear skies. And yeah, that looks incredible. <laughs> you can see the dark nebula a lot better than you could with the L Extreme. That is insane. Okay, I'm gonna get the sequence started again. And I'll see how many of these I can get. I'm hoping these clouds are gone now though, so fingers crossed I can go till sunrise at least, hopefully. So I'll update you later on when hopefully the sun's going to be coming up and I'll have another three hours of data. Alright, it's about half four now and miraculously the clouds stayed away for the rest of the night. Uh, you can see the sun's coming up behind me, so the sky's getting too bright to shoot now. And then there's the moon and Jupiter up there as well, but they didn't have much effect. So I think I got two and a half hours with the L Pro and at least two hours with the L Extreme. And once I've combined all that, it might be enough, but I have no idea because I've never shot a target like this before. So I'm going to pack the scope up, go inside. So yeah, speak to you tomorrow. It's the third night out now, um, and I've decided that the data I got last night, whilst it did help a lot, like bring out some of the fainter details of the cocoon, I'm still not really happy with the amount of de uh, detail I've got. So I've decided to try and get another night on it at least. It's, it's looking clear at the moment, and hopefully it's going to stay like that all night long. So I should hopefully get at least four hours, maybe even five or six if I'm lucky. I've already focused and slewed to the target and taken flats and everything like that because just thought I wouldn't bore you with that again. And I've got the first sub shooting, so I'll show you that when it comes up. So yeah, fingers crossed the clouds don't arrive before sunrise. Yeah, I'll show you the sub in about four minutes. Right, the first test sub's come up and it looks really good, so I'm just going to press play on the sequence as I've done every night. Press OK. And there we go. So I'll let that run as long as possible, hopefully till sunrise. Some of the forecasts say it's clear all night, but others don't agree with that, so we just have to see. But yeah, fingers crossed. Alright, as you can probably see, the sun is rising behind me. And yeah, I managed to get the whole night. It was almost completely free of clouds. There was some turned up for maybe like less than 20 minutes. So I've not lost too much data to them. But yeah, I think I've got hopefully at least five hours of usable subs. So I don't know if I'll have enough data yet. I might do. I'm hoping to do because I don't want to spend too many more nights on this. But I won't bother recording any like video for any other nights I do. So yeah, I'll just cut to the outro. So whenever that is, see you then. Right, I've stacked and processed the data. I think it looks pretty good at the moment, but I do want to add more data at some point just because it was quite noisy. So I've actually used a lot of noise reduction, which has obviously lost quite a bit of detail. Uh, and I want to try and bring out some of the like background hydrogen clouds and the tail of the cocoon a bit better. But for now, I'm happy with it. So that I'll have to wait for probably next year. So yeah, I hope you like it too. Uh, thanks for watching and I wish you all best guys.